Right guys, so you've caught us here today at Barbacoa in central London and we've got a little mission. We're going to do some beer and burger matching. Aren't we guys? We yes. are. Yes we are Brad. So uh, what's the thing with it? What are we going to do? What we're going to do is, well they've got a great, great beer list full of some really interesting beers. We've got rhubarb saisons, we've got dark lagers and freedom which is a lovely beer. Uh, and Ola Dube, uh, which is a whiskey aged beer. But um, I think we can do better. I think I we can think do we better. Can so we've, uh, we're going to have to smuggle our own drinks in and we've worked out a way we can do it. Um, Brad shows you how. Brad. Hands. Quite ingenious. Uh, I think you'll All agree with that, guys. will be kind of weird. revealed. See you inside. Bye. <laughs> okay. So we've snuck the beers in. I've got two hands. As you can see, they'll never be any the wiser. So I've got on my burger. It's a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's got uh, the right amount of chuck, flank, marrow, a bit of marrow in there for a little bit of sweety stickiness. With it, I've chosen from their list a rhubarb saison uh, made by Ilkley Brewery. It's got a bit of a sour, sour extra sweetness on the finish. Let's give it a go. I've got something on my face. And that beer's really good with it, actually. They sort, of, they sort of intertwine together so you get the sweetness from both. Um, it just makes it last a lot longer. That's what food matching should do. They should come together and neither of them should be obliterated. But I think I can do better. I've got a uh, <coughs> secret beer. One of my favourites, Little Creatures. It's from Australia, Perth. Really, really lovely pale ale with a slightly like the sweet hoppy end that just knocks you with bitterness at the very end. Mm. And that's lovely too, this time I got a little bit of bitterness from the hop. It just cut through the beer and then because the sweetness came back in, it all came together again. It's beautiful. I go little creatures. So, I'm going to have my burger now. It's uh, Brad Superfood. Anyway, so uh, I've chosen from a fine stable of uh, beverages here and I've gone for the Freedom Dark Lager. Mm. Darkness, darkness falls upon us. It's got a really, really beautiful uh, lingering, bitter, malty, burnt flavour. It's really rich and it's beefing up the beefiness of the burger. When in Rome, we might as well uh, do a little sneaky sneak sneak. So we've got some uh, India Pale from uh, your man the Colonel from central London. I'm going to give this a little go. So getting a spooky vibes a little bit, but not quite as intense as that one. But it's, uh, it's a beautiful beer and um, I love the kernel, but I think I'm going to go with the freedom on this one. The house of meat, barbacoa, got a beautiful burger in front of me. I mean, it just looks incredible. My beer today, a beautiful, beautiful dark ale. It's been, it's been aging in those whiskey barrels. I'm not sure it's going to go with the burger, but you know, could get lucky. I've only got one arm free, my other's grasping my, grasping my chips. Mm. It's my other hand. I'm not sure about that myself. I think that maybe, maybe just maybe, I might have something a little bit better in mind. Let's go for another try. Is it going as well as I thought? Unfiltered, incredibly hoppy, hits that sweetness of the onions, that real, real comparison, really nice. Definitely don't go for the whiskey store here. This is your boy. Quick. Right, so, because um, I don't think there's such a thing as a bad or wrong beer, I've gone with cider. This is, this is from the Barbacoa Boys. This is Cornish. 
It's from the first Windfall and Apples. No Granny Smith in this. This is all heritage stuff. I'll put extra mustard in it. Yeah, that really works. Really works. The fruity cutting through the mustard, really good. But um, is it as good as this? Einstock Icelandic beer made from glacier water. The purest water on earth, they reckon. Actually, I was expecting that not to work because it's full of citrus. But that's actually really good. It somehow really goes with the tomato. I think I've discovered something there. If you think you know a beer that goes better with a burger than us, write it in the boxes below. Let us know and we'll give it a go. All right, so um, from Barbacoa and from us, cheers.